Okay, let's look at uh, the different ways that we can wire up a transformer. And now we're talking about three-phase transformers at this point. So think of a power, either a power transformer, a substation, or you have three-phase pad mount, or sometimes you'll bank three single-phase transformers in a, usually it's done in overhead uh, to serve a three-phase load. And when, you, when they line them in, um, wire them up, depending on the design, they can wire up as wire them up as YY, which means that the primary is uh, is uh, wired Y, <clears throat> and the secondary is wired Y. Um, so V line primary over V line secondary is equal to root three times V phase primary over root three V phase secondary. So that root three term will drop out, and V line primary and V line secondary are differ by the turns ratio. Um, but there's a couple of disadvantages. First, if the loads on the transformers, uh, the transformer circuits are unbalanced, then the voltage on the phases of the transformer can be severely unbalanced. Um, the, you, you have third harmonics issues here. You can have a solidly grounded neutral, which a lot of utilities do. And that permits the additive third harmonics to flow in that neutral line. Um, but then that can cause uh, high current flows in the neutral. And sometimes you can get a, a ground fault relay to pick up if it gets high enough. So that is a concern. Okay, here's what it looks like. Um, you know, if you have a, you know, there's just a standard three-phase transformer, the way you wire it up would be, you know, the... The bottom legs of all three phases here tied together in the same. This is tied to this is tied to this, which is by definition a Y. And here's your A, your B, and your C, and this would be your neutral. And sometimes the neutral is left floating, sometimes the neutral is tied to a ground. All right, that's Y, Y. Then you can have a Y delta configuration. Uh, in this case, the primary is wound Y is shown, the secondary is wound delta is shown, and now, because remember, transformation happens at the phase level, then you can write V line primary over V line secondary is equal to root three V phase primary over V phase secondary. Because in a delta, V phase and V line are equal. In a Y, V line is equal to root three times V phase. So now the ratio V line Primary to V line secondary is root three times the turns ratio. Now the Y delta connection has no problems with the third harmonic components since they're consumed in the circulating currents of the delta side. It's also more stable with respect to unbalanced loads since the delta partially redistributes any imbalances that occur. But there is a phase shift. So you got a phase shift between this line voltage and this line voltage of 30 degrees, depending on ABC or ACB rotation. Uh, in the US, it's customary to make the secondary lag the primary by 30 degrees, which you need to know when you parallel transformers. You have to make sure, if you have this transformer and you're trying to put another transformer in parallel with it, you gotta have the secondary's 30 degree phase shift in the same direction. Otherwise, you'll have problems. So here's what it looks like. Um, you know, if you just take your transformer circuit, you, you connect this terminal, this terminal, and this terminal all together. That's your neutral. That'll be this point here. Then here's your A, your B, and your C. And then, uh, of course, in the delta, this terminal is connected to this, this terminal is connected to this, and this terminal is connected back to this one. So here's your A, your B, and your C terminals. Okay? That's Y delta. Then you can have delta Y. Similar concept, but now the delta is on the primary, the Y is on the secondary. So you remember before, up here we had V line primary, V line secondary is equal to root three times A. Now we're going to have V line primary over V line secondary is equal to A over the root of three. So the root three is in a different spot now. 
has similar advantages to the Y delta one above. Now there's a neutral point on the secondary side, um, which can be used in a three-phase four-wire distribution system. You can't do that with a delta. If you had a power transformer at your substation and the secondary was a delta, you wouldn't have a up spot for the you wouldn't have a connection point for your fourth wire, which is your neutral wire. Thank <music> you.